come back and learn first the formula of Henry's law. So basically, whenever you are uh, doing or solving numericals based on Henry's law, two formulas you need to remember for your numericals. The first formula is the formula which is relating mass and <coughs> your uh, pressure. Okay, let me write. Mass is directly proportional to pressure. So when I take out the proportionality constant, m is equal to khp. That is the first thing. Second is if you are taking now here, let us write what are this. This is your mass of a gas dissolved per unit volume of the solution it and P is the pressure of the gas in equilibrium with the solution okay right once again mass of the gas dissolved per unit volume of the solvent at a given temperature and this is the pressure of the gas which is in equilibrium with the solution done now the second concept when I have to take the second formula which you should remember is suppose if you have a mixture of gases like if you have mixture of gases in equilibrium mixture of gases in equilibrium with liquid with a liquid you have a uh, equilibrium between gases and liquid then you will speak in terms of mole fraction then it is x is equal x is directly proportional to p x is equal to khp this is the formula so here this is different what is the difference here here you have a gas per unit volume of the solvent means the condition you are speaking about gases only here you are going to speak about gases in equilibrium with the liquid so these two are the formulas which you will remember where I'll be doing different uh, this one also some numericals also based on this now let us come back and see the next formula what is the next formula you're going to learn about law of chemical equilibrium so in law of chemical equilibrium we'll be learning or equilibrium we will be learning about yes law of chemical equilibrium suppose if I have a reversible reaction if I have a reversible reaction like A combining with B B or together forming a product C plus D the coefficients of this is I am represented by small a the coefficient of B is small b coefficient of C is small c and coefficient d, d is small d right now if I have to write or find the equilibrium constant for this now this is rate of forward reaction and this is rate of backward reaction right suppose if I take rate of forward reaction it is represented by Rf which is equal to a constant Kf into a by b this one if i have to write the rate of the reaction the backward reaction i'm going to write it as rb kb c raised to the coefficient c and d raised to the coefficient d small d right now i have both rf and f now at equilibrium what will happen kf will become equal to kb so let us write at equilibrium kf will become equal to kb this is understood concept right both forward and backward reaction now the ratio of these that is the ratio of kf by kb is called kc this is called equilibrium constant equilibrium constant right what is it equal to kc is equal to ratio of the product c raised per c by ratio of b raised per d coefficient by a which is raised for a and b which is so this is called your equilibrium constant so kc denotes equilibrium constant after equilibrium constant let us see one question based on equilibrium constant equilibrium expression also right they've given us here p4 <coughs> okay you have to be very careful while seeing the states here so phosphorus solid state combines with oxygen in gaseous state which is an equilibrium state and form p4o10 solid they're asking us what is equilibrium constant answer for this is it this one this this or this so normally when we do we, uh, we tend to write the products by the reactants right which is raised to the power coefficient which is raised to the coefficient right here they've written product by the reactants okay here also product by reactant that the coefficients are not raised to its power here they've taken for oxygen here they've taken one by oxygen now according to me for such questions first important concept which you should remember is whenever you have reactants in a solid state yes remember for solid state the molar concentration are taken as one remember the most important concept what is that for solid state for solid state molar concentration is taken as one okay one this is the most important thing which you have to remember when it is taken as one which is the answer for the first one 
for the first one this is taken as one because we can't we will not consider that yes after that this is also taken as one the what is left out this is left out how should i write i have to write kc is equal to one by oxygen raised to its power five that's it this is the correct option then i uh, hope it is clear let me come back and start with the next concept in the next concept when i have to teach you i am going to teach you about the equilibrium constant that means if you have homogeneous gas phase homogeneous gas phase reaction okay that means the reactants are uh, in the gaseous phase done what will you write then we are going to write or represent the equilibrium constant by kp kc was earlier now kp this is a constant so kp is equal to write product by reactants as usual c raised to power of c but here you are going to write a term called p i'll tell you what it is into p d raised to the power d okay, you can write it inside also since i'm just writing it here you can write here also okay let me write that there only divided by p a a you can write here also i'm showing that into p b p okay right so shall we write everything inside inside here this will come inside this will come inside okay this is that now what is this for homogeneous gas phase reactions the the molar concentrations this molar concentrations are directly proportional to their partial pressures so all this p is the concentrations are directly proportional to partial pressure p stands for partial pressure at constant temperature temperature so the equilibrium is denoted by kp if they if you find it in the gaseous phase then you write you can take it as kp done <laughs> and now next important thing you can we are going to learn a relationship between relation relationship between kp that is the equilibrium constant in the gaseous phase and kc the equilibrium constant right so when i have to write about this let me take an example first so uh, f first of all i have a reaction a combining with reactant b it's in the equilibrium state with reactant c and reactant d small a small b small c small d correct yes now according to kc what can what should i write equilibrium constant product correct product divided by raised to c reactant uh, sorry product coefficient d reactant raised to its coefficient reactant raised to its coefficient this is your kc now when i have to write about kp how will i write for this right so now what is this since partial pressure is equal to pv is equal to nrt like that pv is equal to crt this is the concept isn't it so i'm going to write in terms of this so now how will i write the molar concentration okay let me put this c right let me take this as a square bracket c r t is equal to c next one d because this c is this no d d r t raised power of d divided by this becomes capital b close bracket r t raised power of b this becomes capital a r t raised power of a right so now what can i take i can take this as common and uh, what will i do i i'll take this whole concept as like if i have to take it's uh, c d a b a are common in both isn't it so what is extra i can write it as c raised to the power of c d raised to the power of d divided by b this is common for both isn't it b this is again b which is now into r t c plus d c plus d because they become uh, we have studied in kinetics you know you add the powers isn't it c plus d minus a plus b right yes so now let me write yeah uh, i have not yet completed let me finish it off now if c plus d minus a plus b is capital n uh, so delta n if i write like this then how can i write kp is equal to kc rt delta n that's it. this is the relationship between kp and kc this formula you need to remember careful now let me teach you one more formula relationship between 
between kp and kx now we are representing kc in terms of mole fraction right so now when i have to write for such things how do i write the same reaction a plus b giving that ca plus b giving forming c plus t the coefficients are small b small c small d now for them we are going to represent kx in terms of kx now you'll write it as mole fraction x is for c mole fraction d is for d divided by mole fraction b is for b mole fraction a is for a right so now what can we uh, further write i need to relate both isn't it so how am i relating we very well know partial p that uh, because i need to compare that partial pressure partial pressure is equal to mole fraction into total pressure we have studied this in relative lowering of vp pressure colligative properties we have studied this function is it? partial pressure is equal to x into p mole fraction into capital p so what can i write now the same thing if i take kp is equal to kc we already have this equation earlier isn't it kc delta n okay then kp is equal to kx into rt delta n that's it simple isn't it i can also write this as g why am i writing this g this g is equal to it is number of moles of the gaseous products minus number of moles of the gaseous reactants remember this one more formula for you kp and k kp and kc is this formula kp and kx is this formula so both the relations please remember right now we have seen the relation between kp and kc we have also seen the relation between kp and kx isn't it now let us see or note some important things which are very important for your reason so now what should you remember if delta ng okay ng is equal to zero same condition delta ng is positive delta ng is negative i told you what is ng ng is the number of moles of the gaseous products minus number of moles of the gaseous reactants yes so now if delta ng is zero then condition is kp is equal to kc if delta ng is positive the condition is kp will be greater than kc this hope you understood this kp and kc then delta ng is negative then kp is less than kc remember this now let us write the units for uh, uh, kp and kc so for kc the unit is mole per liter delta ng unit for kp is atmosphere delta ng remember this so units are also there relations also there it is easy for you to do the numerical 